good morning, good afternoon, and good night whenever you're watching this Patriot Plumber Report. Well, today's little episode, I'm going to be talking about the AC200 Max and the B230 battery on how to charge up your unit and the proper connections to use and uh, just kind of explain uh, the basics um, about um, jumping in to uh, an investment uh, without knowing anything is a big no-no so um, my recommendations is before you purchase any kind of units I want you to do your homework check out the videos check out the reviews you know check out people's stories of you know how Blue Eddie's treating them I highly recommend it because that's what I did um, I just didn't say okay I'm just gonna invest I watched video after video and you know, and I've done video after video of uh, all, all the units that I have. Um, but that's what you have to do. You've got to know your products because I don't want you to go jump in and get, you know, some kind of unit thinking this is what it's going to, you know, take to run my house or run my RV or run my van and it's not the right size. Um, do your homework. Uh, figure out how many watts uh, you're going to need um, to uh, operate your van or your you know uh, RV you just do your homework so here's the video on the connections that you'll need uh, for grid power and for solar all right hold up okay let me flip this around okay this is the power connection for your AC 200 max to your B 230 battery this is the only thing that comes with the battery plus your paperwork and your warranty and all that stuff the AC 200 max you get the brick now the cool thing about the brick is if you get two of those bricks you can simultaneously charge your head unit and your bottom battery you know so if you need to you know put it in your RV and take off or your your travel trailer you, you know need a quick charge boom you've got massive amounts of power coming in um, so highly recommend if you need to get a couple of these uh, all right so now to do your solar connection you need this aviation connection right there and then it connects into these right here which is then your solar connections these are MC4 connections I'm not really re I can't remember the names of them but I mean it's pretty basically uh, explanatory and then you also have your cigarette port charger now you hook those up to your aviation and it's going to charge your stuff slow. So if you want to drive around, you know, from one spot to another and, you know, it's cloudy and you can't get any solar coming in, boom, yeah, hook it up to your cigarette port and, you know, you'll probably pull in hopefully 95 watts. But still, it's something, but don't, you know, think it's going to charge it fast with your cigarette port. All right. So now this is your DC enhancer that everybody's talking about. And the cool thing is, is if you just hook this, now let's see if I can do this with one hand. I can't, so I'm gonna pause for a second. Okay, so now here you got your solar. You hook it up to your, your DC enhancer, and then your DC enhancer plugs into where your grid would go, and I'll show you that in just a second. So now there's that, you know, you're gonna be getting that extra hopefully 500 watts uh, the average that I've been seeing on everybody's videos is between 480 or 385 to maybe 410 if you have any other videos that show the you know getting the whole 500 you know tag me in that post and so I can watch it okay now the cool thing is is if you can have your solar coming in from your DC enhancer and I'll show you that right here you're gonna plug that right into where the grid would go okay and then you have your solar connections so you're gonna have both your solar coming in here and your solar coming in here to hopefully giving you the complete 1400 watts so I believe you can get 900 out of this and then that extra 500 so 1400 
Um, now, you can also come down here and do the same thing. If you had another DC enhancer, gosh, you could plug it into the bottom right here and do the same. So, now, one thing that I've been noticing and people have been posting that it's not charging because, you know, I don't know, and then they show a picture and they've got it hooked up to their cigarette port. It's not going to charge. It's not going to charge your AC200 Max either. These are the only ways to charge right here and right here. And it, now if you have power coming into here on both of these, then of course it'll charge the bottom once you have the cable hooked up. So remember that. Those are the only ways to charge the head unit. Also what I've been noticing is people are like, oh man, I'm losing all of this power. You know, I turned it off and I wake up and it's like 17%. Okay you always have to truly make sure that that is turned off so when you're turning it off here let me just turn it on light turns on I let go power comes on dun, dun, dun. okay so you got it going blah 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 you're like all right I'm done with it I'm gonna put it up or you know whatever so you come over you long press I hold it for like seven seconds you know maybe I'm wrong I don't know I let go the power will turn off boom now just to double check touch the screen plug something in make sure it's it's off make sure the battery is off now if I had the cable hooked up the battery would turn off as well so but you can double check now I do know that when it's just sitting you're gonna lose some power I'm not sure you know what that percentage is but if you want to know you know, Jeff, he's always in the forum on the Blue Eddy groups. That guy is amazing, and he is so much help to this group. So give him a shout out, you know, ask him any questions. If you see him on the forum, you know, the guy's smart. I'm a plumber, but that guy is way smarter. <laughs> Anywho. All right. Well, there it is. So I hope this answered some questions. Um, if if you like these videos please hit the like and subscribe tell your friends if you're new to this channel welcome aboard hit that subscribe uh, I know I'm up to 522 subscribers I just want to say thank you I mean to me that's that's huge um, compared to all these people that have millions <laughs> I hopefully I don't get that big anywho so I hope you enjoyed this video um, please like and subscribe tell your friends and also check out the descriptions because there's the links uh, for Blue Eddy and Renogy uh, solar panels um, if you do click onto those links and you do purchase something it does help me out um, I'm not gonna lie uh, so uh, it's not a lot but hey it's something um, because right now uh, times are tough and uh, I'm just still waiting for this freaking the okay uh, to get this neck and surgery done um, so they can transfer it over here to Kentucky this waiting game is killing me but once I do get the surgery um, that's when I can you know get back to the norm <laughs> anywho God bless I love you all and I hope you have a wonderful day night or morning whenever you're watching this Patriot Plumber Report talk to you later bye